Alright, what's up everybody? So today I'm going to share with you what is considered a good website versus a bad website. Okay, uh, what, what I mean by that is that there's actually no bad website, but then bad planning of the website. So a lot of guys, when they create a website, so a lot of small business owners that I've met uh, during the past uh, one to two years, what they have considered is only the design of the website. But then without proper architecture and planning of the website, your website serves no purpose, uh, in term, at least in terms of Google's eye, for SEO purposes. All right. So when we work on websites, not only that you have to look at what are the thing, uh, what, about the aesthetics of the website, but also the architecture and its functionality of the website. If you don't have these, your website serves no purpose. For example, let's say this, uh, this, this uh, website that we are looking at right now. It is a pretty good website, I'd say. So how can I tell whether if it's a good website? First of all, they have all the proper uh, meta title, meta description. I mean, these are the basics of SEO, right? So these are the things that you've seen on Google when you search for something. That's it, search for Aesthetic Clinic KL. I'm pretty sure they are actually showing on top. So how do you check that? Let's say, uh, okay, these are the things that uh, they're showing to, on, on Google itself. So. What we can tell here is that they are properly proper planning, at least on SEO site, they are proper planning, they know what they want. So these are some of the things that you should consider when you put on the website. So uh yeah, I mean I mean a lot of guys out there they don't really I mean a lot of small business owners they don't really understand why this website is important to them. They just think that oh when you build the website it is for uh people to buy stuff, people to uh run ads to and whatnot. But then uh, the, I would say, I would argue that real function of the website is really for you to get traffic organically from Google itself, right? So um, I understand that there are a lot of free traffic nowadays, not to mention TikTok. But, I mean, if you go viral, uh, Facebook, Instagram, uh, again, TikTok, Xiaohongshu, these type of things, they do get you some form of traffic, but then you need to create keep on creating new content and hoping that it can go viral. And as you guys have known already, since uh, since there are more and more users and when, or when they go IPO, um, I mean, these companies go IPO, they tend to rely too many on, uh, they, they want to like maximize on their revenue. So they actually let you guys uh, spend more on ads, which like deteriorates the organic results from that. Right, so, but then Google is different. Google is still, uh, I mean, their organic is still very good, uh, at least in terms of like in Malaysia and clinics, All right? So let's just take a look at, okay, enough of talking. Let's just take a look at two of the comparisons that I found. What makes a good website versus a bad website, All right? I would say not bad, but then bad in terms of planning and architecture of the website. Okay, so let's just take a look at a good one first. Okay, uh, again, how can I tell is that they have like proper uh, call to action. Call to action means uh, they, they, they know, uh, I mean, when I land on the website, I kind of know what they want me to do, right? If I'm interested in your service, I can tell, uh, I can call here, I can WhatsApp, I can book an appointment here. If I'm like, uh, I cannot reach them on WhatsApp, I have their socials over here, I have their contact form over here, right? And what it does is that uh, these are called CTAs. Lah. And yeah, this is all the major things that a lot of websites do miss out, especially on the older ones. And of course, uh, their brand is pretty apparent. So their colors and whatnot. So they have trust factors in their website as well. Uh, this is from KKM. So it's like the biggest trust factor they can have as a clinic owner, right? Clinic or clinic owner. Okay, so uh, that is on the first site. And of course, uh, their message is pretty strong also. Like uh, they're targeting women of age 30 and above. Like perhaps 25, 30 and above, right? So they have like a women's, women, uh, I'm pretty sure their target market is actually Chinese also, right? So they have like Chinese Asian uh, faces over here at that age and it's beautiful, right? So this is what, uh, what success would look like for them, right? I mean, in terms of psychological factor, when you land on something, you wanna like show them immediately the results that they're getting, right? That is first. Second thing is really on SEO, right? So I'm pretty sure they want to target like, um, actually they want to target like a lot of things. Lah. I mean, <laughs> um, 
usually, usually we don't want to like target so many things in one page, like KL, Malaysia, skin aesthetic. Uh, so um, not very good. I mean, in terms of like, at least for this title itself, uh, should, uh, I mean, they should like target like lesser, lesser keywords. And I would, I would argue that this, I mean, I understand it is for SEO, but then uh, it might, it, it, there's no emotion, there's no emotion behind this uh, sentence itself, right? So, I mean, it is good for SEO again, uh, but then in terms of like ads and uh, landing on the site, I'm not, I'm not sure if you want to go for this one because this is more like self-proclaimed to be best. Um, perhaps something like revitalize, uh, revitalize you, uh, something like that would actually trigger some form of emotion for those guys, right? Again, let's scroll down. They have a video here, which is very good. Uh, this is a link to YouTube, uh, pretty decent. Okay, uh, trust factors again, 16 years of experience, uh, 40,000, 43,000 fitness done. Wow. Okay, coming down, they tell me exactly what they provide. I'm, I'm pretty sure they provide quite good. I mean, this is their signature service, uh, Dharma Fitness, right? As the field, I, I, I think these two are the same thing, signature. So as you can tell here, so uh, I can tell immediately what is the service that they provide and what's the before and after. Okay, I'm not sure if KKM uh, allows this, but then before and after usually cannot. Lah, right? And of course, uh, they can use pass also, right? So that's that. And uh, coming down here, so I kind of know like who's the face behind. So there are a lot of thoughts put in the website itself. Right? A lot of thoughts put in LCP certified. Okay, wow, 16 years of experience. Korean trained doctors, wow. Right, because Korean, as we have known, is one of the best uh, places that you can have aesthetic surgeons, right? Uh, aesthetic surgery or aesthetic surgeons or even like uh, uh, plastic surgeons and whatnot, right? So Korean train, wow. So many creditions. So coming down here, they split it on like parts of the body, like parts of the body. So you kind of know like, oh, what, what's my issue right now? What's my issue right now? Perhaps it's, um, I don't know, okay, for me it's men. So I can just like click on men and go to that page itself. Right, I would say, okay, again, trust factors. Let me just finish first this part. About us, um, I think this part I would add a little bit more uh, in terms of like the team and some, oh, okay, that's the team. Okay, um, one, two, two guys. Um, I mean, it's okay, it's okay. Uh, perhaps I would add a little bit on the qualifications also over here. Lah. Like where do I graduate from? What are the years and whatnot? Uh, I think, I mean, at the top, there are some, there are some, but uh, I would just strengthen it over here. Lah. Okay, very, very clear call to action and very clear sitemap. I mean, at least on the footer. Lah. All right, so you can tell that this is actually properly planned. And, uh, and I mean, uh, they have structured uh, the website in a way that it is very easy to navigate and you can know like what is the issue here let's say I have acne's problem right acne I can take a look at this I mean overall uh, the entire website is very very decent and uh, in terms of SEO I mean you can see the links lah. you can kind of see the links that it is very decently made like gem clinic slash treatment slash something like that Right, slash hydrogen drip laser. So they're planning to uh, rank for this. And of course, uh, in Google's I in Google, there are something called crawler. This is a some form of spider that ranks your website, that it crawls through your website and understands what you do, what the website is about, and ranks you up on top. Right. So if you have too many layers, for example, you have slash treatment, slash let's say lah, huh? For this one, some would just put uh, gem clinic slash treatment slash medical wellness slash hydrogen slash Malaysia. So a lot of slashes. Usually they want to go for more than three right, for SEO. That's one. Uh, I would say, again, this is very properly made. And uh, let's just take a look at a comparison. Right. This is also a static clinic. Um, okay. Okay, I mean, um, it is not 
bad bad it's not bad bad but then it's just no proper planning when they work on things right so i understand that they want to like show immediately what the guy is about what the guy is doing why should they trust them but then there's just too many words and there's no like success again there's no success i mean who are your main uh main people right who's the main people let's say they are targeting malay audience uh I, I, if i were you i would just if i were them i would just put a malay very beautiful malay model over there and that is what success looks like and instead of just uh sharing the doctor's profile over here right and it's all word i mean if you want to share it here of course you can put your face over here if you want to so there are a lot of things that you can do to make it uh, appealing at the first glance right else it will just be a bounce bounce meaning people see this and people just exit it because they are not attracted to what you are trying to share right so coming down here uh i'll say okay oh okay it's not clickable <laughs> so there are quite a bit of treatments over here but then uh, i i thought it I thought we can click on it, but then uh, it seems that it's not clickable. Before and after, yeah, again, uh, KKM doesn't allow you to publish before and after, actually. So this is, uh, I think they, uh, they've taken it out. Lah. I think it's there before they've taken it out. Testimonials, there should be some testimonials here. So um, overall, I think this website is hit by KKM, so they have to like remove a lot of things. Lah product uh why choose us i mean uh, i'll just put this one at the top lah. let's say that there's so many things i cannot put right here right? before and after i cannot put treatment i cannot put so i'll just put the doctors at the top lah. right so this is what i would put at the top again there's no uh, again you can see the website there's no proper cta you don't know where to click right okay read more I, i'm i'm i mean I, i'm not that interested yet to know about the doctor i don't know what's in for me right so uh this is not uh i mean i wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's not good it's just not properly planned out lah. okay uh, i mean no harm <laughs> if you're looking at this i mean no harm okay uh but then this is very good lah. i mean at least they get like accreditations but then you can see the main difference lah, uh versus the first website that we have uh, I mean, there are a lot of trust factors, there are a lot of call to action buttons, the colors, and uh, how success looks like. It's uh, very appealing in terms of like uh, visitors, right? So that's one. You're coming down here. So let's say from what I know, what I can click is actually the location itself. Let's just take a look at the location. Uh, okay, they have two locations here. Um, I mean, okay lah, okay lah. Uh, but then I'm, I'm not i'm not like trying to go for that location yet man. right I, I don't know what it's in for me yet at this at least at this time okay let's just look at the uh structure of the website and in terms of seo how is it like okay so uh a lot of guys when they work on websites as you can see here this is something that we call improper planning lah. like index php uh normally normally you don't want this at all uh, why they have index PHP is because when the website, I mean the website developer, uh, they put not much of thought into it. I mean, I understand they are paid for what they, are, they they do. They just create the website, then there's no SEO thought put into it. Right? So that's why when you guys want to work on a website, do work on, with someone like uh, they have SEO background, they have website background, they have tech background. So. Yeah, those are the guys they want to work with and uh yeah hypercharge does that lah. so uh just a self selling something over here so let's just take a look at okay as you can see here the entire website is not indexable by google at the very least i mean at at least at that index php lah. okay it is indexable by google but then the link itself it seems to be uh a little bit off a little bit off at least in terms of like .php site. Okay, this is one of the uh, major things that is being done. Uh. So this is the URL structure. So, um, I mean, there's no thoughts put into it. Uh. No thoughts put into it. They just like created a dump it like that. 
right? And uh, why is it not good? Okay, why is it not good? It's because, first of all, this link itself, when people share over, they don't know what they do. Right? The, the, the guys who get this link don't know what you guys do. Right? And when, I mean, it's nowadays there are a lot of scam cases. Uh, people don't tend to click on a lot of these type of links. So yeah, that's one you have to mask the URL and uh, it is not readable by Google in, in that sense. Uh, I mean, it is readable, but then there's no slug. Slug as in, this, uh, let's say you're selling fractional CO2 lasers. At least you want to have like CO2 lasers over here, right? Uh, so that's one. Content-wise, as you can see, it's not properly planned because, uh, I mean, in terms of like the CTA, why you, uh, what's the testimonials like, nothing like that, right? Nothing like that. Uh, and let's just take a look at SEO. Okay. They only have one like heading, H1. One H1, uh, 300. Zero, oh, 301 descript, uh, character description in proper planning of the title not indexable meta is missing sitemap not found no structured data you know, quite a bit of things that is going wrong with this um, I mean in terms of like Google I mean not, not, not the business itself but then in terms of like this website for Google, right? So, okay, let's say I want to take action. Uh, I'm interested in this one. I'm interested in this one. Like, what, where, where, where do I click? It's back to treatment. All right, so uh, CTA is really uh, not there. And uh, I mean, I want people to click on this button. Uh, all right, that's why I don't want to make it so small. At least like have a widget over here, the floating WhatsApp button. So I can like click it whenever. That's good. Um, let's just take a look at, at this latest offer. Okay, latest offer, it is like hiring. So, uh, yeah. Products, okay, products is okay. Resources, what do they have? Let's just take a look at the blocks. Um, okay, where do I go back? Okay, blocks is... Oh, okay, only four blocks. That's the thing, right? So a lot of guys, when they create a website, they think it's a one-off thing. They don't have to, like, create blocks. They don't have to, like, do this, do that. Um, yeah, I mean... I mean, you can definitely do that, but then uh, you will just lose out, no? Like, there are reasons why guys grow bigger, right? Aesthetic clinics grow bigger. And there are reasons why guys are not getting a lot of clients in terms of, like, at least digitally, right? These are some of the minor, my, uh, small, small reasons. But then when these small, small things compile up, it becomes really big, right? It's snowball, lah. It's snowballs, lah. why people lose and gain weight okay i'm not sure if this is like a copy paste uh but yeah okay lah never mind let's just go to others okay treatment uh they are actually doing something here yeah at least some proper like structure on what 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 is uh available in their service Mm, let's just take a look at the web treatment. Okay, again, the treatment is like this. So yeah, I mean, they have everything, but then there's like no proper planning on the content itself and the website structure and the architecture itself. Um, yeah, so I can tell like this won't rank well on Google. It just don't, just don't. I mean, there are so many things that's wrong. Uh, I mean, if you are fighting uh, in, in a very small area, let's say in somewhere in Sarawak, some small town in Sarawak, and not even Kuching, uh, that one would work because there's no other competitions who is actually doing uh, a website, so you can still rank. But then let's say you're fighting with guys in KL, in PJ, Singapore, 
uh, or, or bigger countries like Australia, US, UK, like New York and whatnot, these small things would cost you a lot, a lot, right? So yeah, um, having a website is not only about, uh, again, uh, let's just summarize here. Uh, it's been 20 minutes. So having a website is not only about like having a website. <laughs> it's really about what does the website bring to the table for you. I think that that is one of the things that a lot of uh, startup business owners have to think about. Not only clinic owners, but as startup business owners. I, I have seen and heard and talked with a lot of business owners where they don't know and they don't want to have a website. I think in this digital world, you want to have your Facebook and have your socials. Um, I mean, there's no right and wrong. Uh, no right and wrong. If you don't want to maintain the website, it is fair. It is fair. But then you lose out on a lot of things. Uh, a lot of things in terms of like, okay, let's just talk a little bit of marketing over here. Okay, social media is about reaching people who don't know whether they need the service or not. Of course, they are lookalikes. Let's say you, you click on, I, I'm pretty sure after I see I, I visited their website, I'm pretty sure I, on Facebook, I'll see a lot of aesthetic clinics ads really, right? So that is when, after I visited their website, right? But then if there's no action taken, there's no action taken on the website itself, there's no tracking. There's no tracking. Like, like I, I wouldn't be seeing aesthetic ads. From what I'm seeing right now are game ads because I've been playing games. A lot of game ads that's popping up. Right? But then aesthetic clinics wise, I'm not seeing a single ads. I'm pretty sure later I would do. But then you can see, I jump into Google first, I land on the website, then only on Facebook, Instagram, I'm seeing these ads. Right? What if, what if this Dr. Low is able to capture me and I'm like, messaging them already and they have the right price point they have the right guy uh the right team and whatnot i'm taking action there already you know and so that that could be one of the things so the intention like think about the intention social media i don't know what i need that i don't know what i need i'm just seeing it right but then google is like i'm typing in i know i have a solution i need a solution already i'm having eczema problem let's say like, i'm having eczema problem i'm typing what's the best uh, best treatment for eczema. Do I need a cream? Do I need a doctor? What's the seriousness of things? Let's say I have been applying, uh, I've been, uh, I, I've been diagnosed with eczema for perhaps half a year and it's not curing when I apply cream. And let's say I were to search online what to do if cream, uh, eczema cream doesn't help my condition. And I land on Dr. Lo and yeah, Dr. Lo says that on the blog itself, they are the best guys to work on eczema cases. I'll just give them a trial out like a WhatsApp and see whether the price is right. If the price is right, I'm gonna get it, uh, I'm gonna get it cured, then I'll visit them already. All right, so that is the intention behind. I'm having this problem, then I search on Google. Socials, let's say socials, today I'm scrolling on games, food, cat videos, you know, and I'm seeing eczema. I don't have that problem, I'm seeing eczema. It doesn't matter to me, right? So business owners, please, um, it's really, it's not that you don't need, it's just that you don't know you need it yet, right? I'm pretty sure if you try it out, some Google Ads girl or, uh, okay, SEO, it takes time, right? SEO, it takes time. Google Ads girl, you can just try it out and see the difference between Google and social media. I'm not saying you can, uh, I'm not saying that you do either one. You should actually do both. You should actually do both. But then again, you are missing out a big pie if you are not having a website, you're not doing SEO, you're not doing Google Ads, you're missing a very, very big pie over here. All right. So again, website very prevalent for Google Ads, for SEO, for your brand awareness, your overall image of the uh, company and whatnot. Guys who grow, at least go up, up than the million. Uh, not, no matter you are a uh, medical clinic, agency, uh, plumbers, roofer, aircon specialist. Guys who are big, normally they will have a website that showcase what they do, 
and SEO Google is actually one of the best ways to capture these high intention customers and leads, right? If you are still saying you are getting not quality leads, people are here for fun, try Google Ads. You see the difference, right? So yeah, that is uh, my sharing over here. So if you are interested, do let us know. Uh, you can visit our website at hypercharge.my visit us and uh, give us a call that yeah, we are ha more than happy to have you in and uh, yeah let's just discuss how we can help your business out all right just in here again once again thanks thank you thanks for your time see you soon bye bye